While 2017 may have been a tumultuous time in the political world, it failed to impede the Australian economy, which is looking better now than the same time last year. Annual GDP is higher, the unemployment rate has fallen, while official interest rates have remained the same. 2017 started with nerves about how the new US president would make his mark. Donald Trump has done a lot of things, um, but they've largely been business friendly. There's been no trade war with China and global politics have been benign, even with a Brexit fallout, European elections and tensions with North Korea. As for President Trump, his plan to cut America's corporate tax rate is likely to have the biggest effect. Then it's a question of what happens next, but I don't think you can take your eyes off the, the US president because he has the potential to be somewhat volatile and impact in terms of financial markets and also economies. Here, Australia recorded its 26th consecutive year of economic expansion. It is a record achievement in the post-war period. We, we pipped the Netherlands. Business conditions are at multi-year highs. The government is spending on infrastructure and export volumes are strong, but shoppers are holding on to their wallets. Consumers aren't feeling the love in terms of the economy and they're not feeling the love basically because wages are growing at a much slower pace than what they've done in the past. And of course uh, it's keeping inflation very, very low, which is the reason why we've seen another year of record low interest rates. Low interest rates should have seen the Australian dollar continue to weaken, but it rose from 72 US cents, peaking at 80 US in September. I think probably the major factor is that the US dollar didn't rise to the extent that a lot of people expected and that's because US interest rates didn't rise to the level a lot of people expected. As for 2018, it's likely to be more of the same with the local economy being dominated by a low inflationary environment. I think it's going to mean that the Reserve Bank is going to spend most of the year on hold. We have an interest rate hike penciled in for the end of 2018, but I'd have to say there's a big risk that might get pushed out into 2019. And with the housing market cooling on the east coast, it'll give the RBA some breathing room as the board continues to watch and wait.